You can't pick a better time for Moldova. This summit really is that moment that's going to bring together all the stakeholders and all the people around the world and in Europe. I've seen the American government here. I've seen different uh, governments from across Europe, the European Commission. They want to invest in Moldova. They see the opportunity. They see their skills here. There's professionals. And this summit brings it all together. I think Moldova is one of those countries that will have a software community that's growing very quickly. But also, and more importantly, it's a green field. Moldova is coming, you know, with a blank sheet. So it doesn't have to change the processes that don't work. They can put in new processes quickly and then move even faster, leapfrog in innovation and leading in ICT. Moldova needs to do what it's doing now. If you just go next door, they have an ICT park. They create a place for startups to be able to innovate. So what Moldova should also add to that, get as much data as possible for these entrepreneurs to play with, to code with, to develop services, right? This 7% tax for startups, that's the right thing to do. The rest of the EU should look and copy that, right? And it should also make available funding and make sure that there's an environment, an atmosphere for investors to want to come here and invest here. I think Moldova really has to see this as the time is ripe, the time is now. So it has to move quickly, right? There's a lot of eyes on Moldova at the moment. The conflict has made us look to get Moldova into the EU, right? We in the EU need to accelerate that process. We need to make sure that there is joint cooperation and investment, and we should be stepping on the gas as much as possible. Grab the opportunity, and Moldova will definitely lead the way. There are so many talented and skilled people here. Use that as an important resource.